Yesterday we had some Nvidia news, so of course it's only right that today we get some AMD news for you fresh off the platter, as we have some rumours for you today from Fudzilla regarding Vega 10. Now according to these rumours, AMD are going to be showing off the next gen Radeon products by the end of the year, or in November to be more exact. Now as to what show this means they're going to show it at, well there's only really two options that November will leave them the supercomputing show or they also have the option of doing their own show like they did with the Polaris announcement. Now from these same rumours, Vega 10 will be debuting with a rather impressive 16 gigs of HBM2 memory but will likely be available in limited quantities and as such the company will be targeting Vega 10 first at the professional graphics market and compute orientated function. And now if this actually ends up ending up being true, we should start seeing volume production ramp up sometime in early 2017, so in theory it should be available for retail customers by the end of the first quarter. Now we've discussed AMD's plans for Vega 10, 11 and Vega 20 graphics cards, but just in case you've missed some of that information or just want a bit of a refresher, Vega 10 will be the bleeding edge cards aiming to take on the higher end GeForce cards. Vega 11 will be intended as a replacement for the current Polaris desktop lineup. A pretty interesting move, but apparently an accurate one. From what AMD have said in interviews, which granted isn't much, Vega isn't just Polaris 10 with extra compute units, but a faster, more efficient design. Now, of course, this is really interesting when you combine it with the news that I discussed yesterday that NVIDIA are going to be readying a Pascal refresh for 2017. There'll be quite the fierce battle between both Team Green and Team Red, especially when you consider that NVIDIA are also planning to release a 1080 Ti, which will be performing fairly damn close to that of the Titan X Pascal. As for the other specs of Vega, judging from various earlier leaks, we'll be seeing Vega 10 shipping with 4096 stream processors, and we'll likely put up well over 10 or around 12 T-flops of single precision compute performance, which is pretty nuts, and we can presume by these same leak numbers that the clock speed of the GPU core is going to be between 1400 and 1500 MHz. And if there's anyone watching this who thinks, oh, 12 T-flops, that's that's not enough. There'll apparently be a dual Vega 10 part, which means we can presume it will feature double the number of shaders, possibly lower clocked cores for the sake of the card's TDP, but this has not been confirmed. So, that's it for this particular video. Thank you very much for watching. Do remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you next time.